Nowadays we talk about competencies and the College of Surgeons has 10 competencies. You can read them for yourself and most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Okay? Um, it's important to understand this because historically as a surgical training college, College of Surgeons, we sort of focused and did really well in our medical expertise, so that's your knowledge, in our technical expertise, that's how we train surgeons to operate, so that's your psychomotor skills, and also in our clinical decision making. But we didn't spend a lot of time in the other competencies. And then when the data started coming out with these other competencies, it became very clear that unless you have all of these competencies, um, your patient outcomes actually are not as good. So in fact, not being competent in some of these other areas, these other domains, actually predicts for poorer patient outcome and actually less safe um, care for your patients. So there's now good data to say that you need all 10 competencies and some of these non-technical competencies or non-technical skills, soft skills, professional skills, you can call them what you like, you all recognise what they are, um, but those are now recognised as being absolutely essential for good quality patient care. And again, I think that's important at your level to understand that that whilst we are a craft group and a lot of the training will focus on operating, um, it's, not, it's not the end all. And it's certainly necessary, but it's certainly not sufficient, okay? And in fact, the, the colleges and in fact, the Australian Medical Council would say that all 10 competencies are necessary. So they don't actually rank them in terms of hierarchy.